Hi guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to my channel, Curated by Chris. Today will be a jewelry sale of items that are new without tags. If you'd like to purchase anything from the video, please email me at curatedbychris at gmail.com. Chris is with a Y. Please include the number tag and brief description. I will include the purchasing instructions in the description box. So I'm just going to move this right over and dive into the first one, which is a stretch bracelet with serpentine chips. It's a gorgeous statement bracelet. It has a really nice stretch and I'm pretty sure it stretches approximately eight, eight and a half inches. This will be number one and it will be $4. Next is a hematite arrowhead necklace. Absolutely gorgeous and it's a fairly large pendant. Okay, so here's the back. Beautiful. And it has a really thin rhodium plated chain. And the lobster clasp is rhodium plated as well. So let me just take a drop down measurement. This measures approximately nine and a half and to the end of the arrow, approximately 11 inches. So this will be number two and it will be eight dollars. So the next one is a, I believe this is um, a rough cut green garnet. Um, the stones are green garnet on a stainless steel box chain. And this is a slider bracelet. And this slides open to about nine and a half inches. Really beautiful. So it would be like this. And this dangles. And this does not tarnish because it's um, stainless steel. This is beautiful. So this will be number three and it will be eight dollars. Next uh, is a um, necklace that is on a mesh, like a mesh thread chain. And the beads are glass, faceted blue with square stainless steel gold beads. So this hangs like this, like so. Gathers all together. So they do um, move on the chain. So when it hangs, it just, they all come together like so. It's like a very modern piece. You can layer this with other, um, other necklaces, longer or shorter. And here's the closure. And let's take a measurement. The drop down is almost nine and a half inches. This will be number four and it will be eight dollars. Next is an evil eye, a um, brushed steel evil eye necklace with a tiny turquoise bead in the center. It's a gorgeous piece and the chain is rhodium plated so it won't tarnish with rhodium plated um, lobster clasp as well. Just tangled up. 
up right now. I'll do that, undo that later. It's a gorgeous piece. So the drop down on this is approximately eight and a half till the end of the evil eye is about nine inches. This will be number five and this will be six dollars. Next is another evil eye. Um, it's like a, a enamel with rhinestones and it's rose gold. This is beautiful with um, blue rhinestones, rhinestones in the center. And the chain is a rhodium plated rose gold chain. And that's the back. So the drop down is approximately eight inches till the end of the evil eye is about um, a little, actually about an eight and a half inches. This will be number six and this will be eight dollars. Next is another beaded necklace. So this is green, faceted green glass beads with gold tube beads on a mesh on a thread mesh chain so you can't really bend it too much so and the beads do move so when it hangs It will look like this. And again, you can layer this with other pieces. And this is the closure. So the drop down on this is approximately nine and, oh, sorry, not nine and a half. It's um, a little over nine inches. It's number seven, and it will be seven dollars. Next is another beaded necklace with faceted blue and gold toned tube uh, beads. And again, these beads do move. So when it hangs, this one will look like this. Um, again, on a mesh thread chain, same type of closure. And this measures drop down approximately nine and a half, a little over nine and a half inches. will be number eight and it will be seven dollars next is a pair of gold tone hoop earrings with evil eye um, pendants hanging these are gold plated with uh, clear rhinestones the hoops themselves are gold tone though And they are approximately two inches. They hang about two inches. And the closure is like so. So these will be number nine and they will be $7. Next is a gold tone chain with a gold plated carabiner lock and these are the ones that you um, just unscrew it this way and you remove the one just turn it around 
sorry. You remove the one side and then you wrap it around and then screw this back on. And the lock has tiny rhinestones. This is beautiful. And this is, um, this does not tarnish. The chain does not tarnish. So I'm gonna do a drop down. Measures approximately um, a little over nine inches and then to the end of the carabiner lock about 10 inches. So when you wear this, it will hang like so. It will hang like this. So this will be number 10 and this will be $8. Next is a heart locket with a toggle clasp. This is gorgeous. The, the pattern is a filigree. And I'm gonna attempt to open this. I cannot, but it does open. Let me just take a measurement and just unravel this. Actually, I'll do a drop down then. So the drop down is a, a little over eight and a half inches till the, uh, till the end of the heart locket is about 10 inches. And the heart locket is absolute, absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. With a plain back. And this is a gold plated chain. And the locket is gold, uh, gold plated but uh, underlying brass metal. This is number 11 and this will be $8.00. Next is another slider bracelet on a stainless steel box chain. So it just slides. And the um, largest opening is about nine and a half inches. The pendant, let me just close this. So the pendant has a, an evil eye with a Hamza hand with tiny rhinestones all around. The back has a slightly hollow back. This is beautiful. So this will be number 12 and this will be eight dollars next is a tiny amethyst bead necklace hand wrapped in a gold plated chain and it does have an extender chain so here's the closure these are gorgeous amethyst beads, faceted, and I will take a measurement. Let me just open this. So from lobster clasp to the end of the jump ring here, measures approximately 17 inches, and the extender chain is approximately um, a little over two inches. So this will be number 13 and this will be $10. So the next is a beautiful 
Um, this is like a horse, um, like a horseshoe clasp. And the way to open this, so this is a screw right here. So you just twist it and you can remove the chain, wrap it around and then the pin goes back in. And then you screw this back on tight and it stays. And this beautiful horseshoe clasp has tiny rhinestones. It's encrusted all around. Tiny little rhinestones. And the chain is gold plated chain. It has a really, really nice way to it. And when it hangs, it should hang. Um, you can do it either way, but it usually will hang like so with the pin down. So I'm going to take a drop down measurement. So this measures approximately 12 inches. This is beautiful. So this will be number 14 and this will be $20. And I have a few more. Next is this pair of Evil Eye hoop earrings. Um, I will include backings, rubber backings on this pair. And these are beautiful. They are um, small. I would say about one and a half inches. And the design is on both sides. So this will be number 15. And this will be $7 to spare. Next is a pair of cubic zirconia and sterling silver post earrings. These are gorgeous. They are faceted and brilliant. Let me just grab this one. Look at the shimmer, it's gorgeous. And these are sterling silver posts. With their backings. And the stone is set in a prong setting. Let me just position them so you can see better. So these will be number 16 and these will be $12. And I have actually a few more. I have another pair. These are tinier of cubic zirconia sterling silver post earrings. These are super tiny. And let me just do a close up. They are in prong settings. Sterling silver posts with their backings. So these will be number 17 and these will be $7. Next is another pair of earrings with brushed metal um, that are square. Let me just position them. These are super tiny, but they are adorable with sterling silver posts, I believe. Pretty sure these are sterling. Actually, they may not be. So these tiny brushed metal stud earrings 
number 18 for four dollars and the last item is a 14 karat gold heart ring super thin so it has the right let me just grab it here Um, hopefully you can see that it's right on the inside this is 120 14k this is a stacking ring so you can stack this with your other rings and I will see the size what size is this this is a seven size seven And this will be number 19. And we'll do this for $12. Okay, guys, I will end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to purchase anything from the video, please email me at curatedbychris at gmail.com. Chris is with a Y. Please include the number tag and brief description. I will include the purchasing instructions in the description box. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.